don't know what this is, but it's kind of hot. Folks, and what we're going to do is we're going to see what I've put on this gold brick uh, 1970s rally strap um, bracelet. See you in a second. What the f was that? Love this. Ah! So this is what I call the crash test dummy watch. Yeah, look at that. Now with postage, because like the Indians are now starting to do postage. Right, this costs 13 quid. This is a 1960s Roma, which is um, a Swiss FHF ST 96 movement uh, in the watch business, right? Like um, Vostok, say a Vostok 2409 is known as a beta mechanism, it, it, it is just 99% reliable, 99% tough as old boots. Doesn't need lots of finicky light adjustments or anything like that. You stick it in, and what stick it on your wrist, and you wear it day in day out until it stops working, sort of thing. Uh, this is one of those. It's kind of like the full Cortina engine, like right, you know. It is just bog stand reliable, like right, you know. There's nothing fancy about it. It's even I do believe got a, a steel. There's not much brass in it. It's mainly steel, but it is Swiss. Just stick that on there. No day day. None, nothing fancy. No complications. It does keep very very good time. Although it is actually wrong at this point in time. I must have, when I was like fiddling about with it earlier, I, I set, I reset the time. So, uh, okay. Takes good wind. It's got a good healthy beat on um, what you call it, uh, my baby time grapher. There should be a picture of that somewhere there. And you know, it is a tool watch. It is something that you wear. Clean acrylic glass, clean case. This was the, you know, like the budget Swiss piece that you could buy. Aroma popular. It's called a popular. Just like Ford used to put popular on their own cars, like, you know, which means it was got cheap and cheerful as opposed to cheap and nasty. I don't know, look, the business, I think mean, it's pretty smart, like, you know. But I just had to have that. There was two versions of this. There was one with the red on the dial, and there was one with the green, both with the yellow hands and everything. And um, I chose the green because, like, you know, claret is a bit, like, you know, it's hinting towards, like, all it would take is, like, you know, somebody to be a bit colourblind or something, and they think I'm a West Ham supporter. Right. The hands seem to be powder coated or dipped rather than painted because there's no brush marks. They are very, very smooth, very clean. Uh, um, it's got lovely tick to it. The only oil, fly in the ointment is uh, on the, the 12, 3, 6, and 9. The yellow has slightly bled out and behind it. So it's obviously a print dial, like you know, somebody's like painted the dial and then printed. The markings over the top of it, like, but it's you know, you won't see another one like this because I could tell you this that Roma, like, you know, even that, like, one some of the worst parties when somebody's like putting some, like, you know, some of the like, you know, uh, the Moroccan wood boards around and stuff like that, like, you know, there's no way on this earth that uh, uh, like a sensible Swiss company is going to make one of these. So, it is a Franken in that respect. I, mean, I should imagine it's probably an original um, Roma dial that was in pretty bad condition. The hands, I don't think, because I can't find a Roma model with those hands on. I think they're aftermarket from something else. But I don't care because I think it looks absolutely amazing. You know? Well, it's a shame I'm a Mill support because if I was a Norwich City fan, this would be right up my street night in that regard, but it's not.
Well, if they'd done, if they'd done a blue one with the yellow on it, I would have had that for the side, but you know. No, I chose this one, like, you know, the watch itself cost a tenner, like, with the postage on top. And I mean, you know, you're getting a, a vintage 1960s, works very well, um, Swiss watch, like, you know, I mean, for a tenner. You can't, you know, you can't buy a decent um, digital for that price. And, like, you know, a digital will probably last, what, five years, then die. This is like, you know, like, like 50, 50 years and still going. Uh, there you go. Now, it came on, I'll show you what it came on. Let's put you there. Start show. It actually came on. This is the first time I've had something from India. It came on this leather strap. Now, I'm going to say this. It's the first... Indian leather strap I've ever had. It's actually ah! bad. I, you know, and I thought to myself, because I've been moving stuff around. Right, I moved, this was an um, Elevenator. I moved the Elevenator onto my 119. Right, and I thought, oh, I ain't got one for this one now. And that turned up. Well, I thought, actually, that looks better on that. And it does. It does look very good. Uh, I mean, can see and it's comfy it's, it's it feels good uh, I've been using the connoisseur cloth and everything like you know this one's running still a bit fast uh, a few minutes uh, you know but look at uh, that connoisseur cloth is getting everything looking new I've nearly done the whole collection now, so I'm very pleased how that's turned out that's a lynch by the way. And uh, got this one. This, I do have a, a leather note for this one, but I like my own. I prefer that, I think I quite like that, as opposed to the leather, I'm quite happy with that. And as you can see, I've given a, a, a good go over with the old um, connoisseur cloth, and it's come up sparkling. Uh, this arrived the other day, um, same yesterday rather, it's supposed to be 18, hmm, no it's not, it's 20, so I've got to find something for that to go on, like, you know, but, oh well, like, you know, I, I bought that for this, and I thought that this would go absolutely brilliantly with the bottle green uh, 119, like, you know, this is an amazing watch, it's absolutely amazing. It's not a 300 metre one, I've, I've been told. So, watch work wise. This poor slab of quartz keeps stopping for about half an hour and then starting up again. Well, it's about once every three days it's doing that. So, I need to have a look at the circuit board. Um, this has surrendered its 2427 movement. Oh, it's a 2428, yes, that day is 2428 movement. Which is. It's coming here. And there it is. And it's glory. And this has been wound down. Ready to go. Which will have the 2428 movement in. Right, and that means I've got the slab of tank up and running and that will be my daily beater sort of watch so I, you know I love this thing but you know this is it's just will continually run fast and I can't get it to slow down you know I've even tried other balances in there and it's not the balance that's causing it to run fast there's something else that's not quite right with it but, you know it's just not regulating properly uh, you know, it could be like something wrong with the escape wheel, it could be something wrong with the pallet fault, there's it, something not right in there. 
So that means I can get this one up and running again and using that movement and then I can use get that movement torn down and then it can like you know then go back into its original case like into the the other case ready or it can be used to um, repair the um, what's it the white dial uh, the white light dialed um, second automatic which I've got somewhere like you know that is a, a day date in it or it could go into one of the, the quartz movements like you know we don't know that. Uh, you know this one will live again all right that means that i'll keep my um what's it my seconda absolutely flawless and clean and this one will be like you know if i want to go work on a car bang i'll have that so there you go we'll go to the up view and we shall finish this off oh, there you go i'm quite pleased with that all right you know I mean, apart from the dog being the wrong dog and all that, like, you know, I mean, yeah, I can't quite happy with that. Mm. I will I will demagnetise it, because I think it's picked up a bit more of the chisel. Mm. Yeah, yeah, but I think that looks nice in the bracelet, I, you know. It's it's a real manly watch. Well, I'm very pleased with that. Another thing I like about this, um, NATO is this quick release because when you get the NATO like done up, like what you do is you like you put it in, put it in there like da -da -da, like, you know, like I need a bit more than that. Right, and then what you do is you fold tuck. So it goes like the end of the tongue. And tuck it into the hasp there, right, you know, so you get like folded down the right. loop. You can see here, like, you know, where that's been, well, I've, I've crimped that for that reason. It, it folds easier, right. Um, and then that just stops it like flapping around if it's a bit long and stuff. But with this one, right, it's very good because you like, it's, it's a quick release scrap. You like, put it up like that. And it comes. But it stays locked in when you're not wearing it. So, I don't know. This is this is the watch that Ian built. I like, you know, it's been absolutely stop astonishing. Um, and it comes the moan about the Royal Mail. Like, you know, got one of these things through today. Like, I was I was actually awake when it night knocked on the door. Like, you know, it was um, what time was that? 9.40, like, you know, and all I heard was, like, um, the letters come through, and this, like, you know, like, I thought, I come like, running out there, and Posty's got them, like, and I thought, you, you didn't even knock, like, you know, what it is, is it's my, um, 17 amphibia from Russia, yeah, you know, which I'm going to do a full feature on, like, you know, we are talking serious, like, you know, this is not big, big fist of steel with wind of it's in it, oh, you know, it, 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 it's called the 710, it's known as the Ministry Case, it was the case that was after they stopped making these for the, um, the Russian Special Forces and divers, this is the 090, um, the um, 710 was the new one, because they could use 22mm um, lugs, oh, okay this one is 22mm, but on um, the older ones, these are only 18 mils, right, which means that the watch can flex back. It's, it's not very stable on the wrist. Right, you know, it, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't lend itself to like security. I and mean, you know, it could be like, you know, theoretically like torn off easier than if it was on a much wider kind of foot on your wrist. If you know what I mean. So, uh, if you ever get to see one of these. Right, with the bottle green made in USSR, the same um, what you call it, uh, domed crystal. It is, it's, this has got a much different crystal to all the others. It's got like a dome to it. It's much thicker. It's solid acrylic. So the, um, and on the back it'll say still 200. It'll say 300. They, these ones with 22 mil lugs, right, are 
the very, very rare 300 meter 119s. And I mean, they are very rare. I, you know, so, you know, if you ever see one up for sale, grab, 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 because I can tell you this, like, you know. Right, it's a 300 meter certified watch. Right, and that means that it can go like you nearly half the half the distance again that this one can go. Although with this domed domed crystal and uh, much fatter um, case back rubber, um, I think this one could probably go a little bit further. Like, you know, what's it? Just like standard 200 meter. This one. Right, you know. Although this one has this is the 090, and it has got the 22 mil lugs. <laughs> But it doesn't have the um, the tension ring or the the thick domed glass that this one's got. So um, if that had if that if that only one had this glass, for it, it would be a 300 metre. But I reckon this is a 300 metre. Oh, you know, it just says 200 metre. Perhaps it, you know, perhaps like it just broke down under testing. You know. But these 119s are exceptionally rare. If you see one, grab one because they will never let you down. A really, really good watch. So there we do. We have that. We have the cat. Uh, you know, we have the catch up. You know, watch, watch, boy. You know, coils knackered on that. That's the one that arrived the other day. I, so I'm just in the process. I, I like that. I don't know if you can see it. There's like a gilt ring around it over a polished stainless steel. I, I like that. That's, that's, that's like brand new, that is, and it's got a beautiful bracelet. So this one will be, like, you know, this will be my dressy slab, of course. Just if I ever get around to doing it, I, you know, I mean, that's the trouble, is finding a time or everything. Um, this is a Lunch, which is going to be surrendering its Vostok um, scrap to me for something else. Um, this works brilliantly. The problem with it is, it's just too small for me. I did try it. It's a mid-size. It's, it's like you know, like um, like a Vostok Cadet. You know, I did try. It keeps astonishingly good time. I, you know, but it is too small for me. So you know, if there's any ladies out there, who, I mean, I'll find a nice bracelet for it. It's, it's got a standard 18 mil lug bracelet, but you know, any ladies who want to like, you know, for a couple of quid my way for it. Otherwise, it's going up on eBay or something like, you know. And um, that's going to be the end of that. Right. And um, here's the third of the set. Oh yeah. I had a bit of a result with this. I have no idea. This is called um Oh bloody hell, what, what's the name of this? Gillex? Oh yeah, Gillex. Mm, ladies watch. With a bit of yuck on it as well. Hmm. It works absolutely fine. It's got a nice 24 hours plus power reserve on it. A little diamond at the top. Apparently, that's like a real synthetic diamond, or you know, nice gold on it. I came in with like you know, I, just, I was just going through some of the boxes of stuff, like you know, and I thought, well, let's have a listen. And yeah, it's a chicken, you know, you know. it's a winder. I don't think you hear that. Uh, you know, Gillex, 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 or Gillex, like of Paris. I mean, you know, if there's a lady out there who fancies one, or somebody wants one for their missus, you know, these will be going up on eBay at some point because I need some money. And there we go. Oh, you know. It's a shame I had to like break that down, but I mean, you know, the hands in it are just absolutely. I, they're not the original hands, I don't think, because they're absolutely. You know, they're like made out of cheese. Uh, they're not very nice. Um, but I am slowly bringing it all, you know, under um, some sort of control. So, 
This one's not working very well. I think the electric motor's buggered on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to harvest this for parts. Oh, yes, yeah, so it's got a nice crystal that might fit on something. It's got a nice cage back that might fit on something. But I'm thinking that that's a, an all new dial. Now I reckon that will go in beautifully in, into one of my projects that I'm working on. So, right, and it means I also can get back like, uh, this rubber strap as well. Which I might put onto my Polaris. Because uh, this is actually quite a comfy um, silicon strap. I like this. Uh, uh, I did have it originally on the Jaragar, but the, I mean, I, I, so that's going. Jaragar's going. The Military Royal is probably going. I mean, you know, it's, it's all. I'm, I'm just working through it, cleaning up with the old connoisseur cloth, right? You know. And seeing what's what, making sure that everything's working, and then probably be next week I'll start upping, like you know the. Um, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do things things like uh, the Jaragar will be done individually. The eagle mosses that are left will be done as a set, as a bundle, and the second quartz that I'm getting rid of, they will be done possibly as a bundle. I'm not sure yet. And the common Durskis, right? Um, where'd you go? These ones, right? You know, they. I mean, this one I'll be keeping because I, I, I fought very hard to get this one at a good price. This one I'll be keeping. It'll be one of few. I'm keeping about four or five, and the rest are going. And all the original box, box tops, the cadets, they're, they're all going. It's like, you know. I'm not wearing them, I'm not getting any use out of them, I, you know, and there are people out there who'd make better use of them. So, you know, I will, there will be a video up sometime next week, or, you know, today's the 27th, day after my own birthday. Um, they will be, um, I, will, I will say, yeah, hey, look, look at this, like, you know, and if you see something you like, you know, then um, have, a, have a pun, like, you know. I'm, I'm one of these blokes like, you know, I'm a South Londoner, I stack it high, I sell it cheap, I mean, I'm not sitting there expecting Rolex prices for like, you know, tin pot pieces, like, you know, I'm not like that. So, you know, it's been a bit quieter, like, you know, I think when the local idiots found out, uh, I was a little bit aggravated, they've been keeping it quite quiet, but there's half a lot of druggies and arseholes around here at the moment, I'm getting really fucked off with it, like, you know. Um, I just don't think there's very much else going on, like, you know. Um, there was something that I, I, I um, there was something else. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say the third of that set. Yeah, the third one that came with um, this one. It's another Looch. It's a Looch Ladies Tono. Now this one works, but it doesn't stay lively, so, you know, I mean, I think it's quite a pleasant night, you know. It's got very, very bright loom on it. It looks like the pole drop mint. It says that it's, it's barely, barely registering, but, you know. Maybe there's like, you know, it looks like Loom. There may be Loom. Name of a good channel, that would be, wouldn't it? You know, there may be Loom. You know, unlike that bloody U1101 bloody Polaris. Like, you know, like, I think they misspelled that name. It should be Paul Arsis. Like, you know, it's a nice looking watch. It performs really well. You've got these bright, vibrant orange hands and orange noon rules which you would expect to phosphor, and they don't. What's the bloody point of putting it on there? And it said on the bloody ad, on the website thing on AliExpress that it did. So they actually showed a picture of the hands looming and the numbers looming. So what's the bloody point, you know? Uh, I'm very, very, uh, I don't think I'm gonna buy much from AliExpress again, like, you know, because, you know, I mean, it, it's like buying a brown paper bag and, like, you're expecting, like, you know, something nice inside and you find it's dog poo in it. 
I'm not fed up with writing on. Right, I'm sticking with my Russians and a few other bits and pieces, like my solid gold have you. Right, you know, four pound alley. I mean, the gold, I don't know what the gold weight and that is, like, you know, but there's a substantial amount of pure bloody gold. I mean, even if it's nine carat, it's still a substantial amount of bloody real gold on there, like, you know. So I'm pleased with that, and, you know, that is, like, you know, part of my inheritance now, so I won't be selling that. Um, cats are fine. Shana's fine. She's got through all the hurdles with her job, mostly, like, you know, like starting working, um, what's it, uh, Queen, what's its name in Glasgow? So if you hear of, like, you know, like, what's it, troublemakers up in Glasgow, and uh, that'd be Shana, you know. Uh, a big a big wave to a lady I'm talking to up in the Orkneys, like, and a um, big wave to Gary, like, you know, not going to take the mic out of Gary this one. Like, you know, a big two fingers up to like one door like and that no, no I'm gonna stop that one like um, yeah. big like you know barrage of like you know MLRS launched balls containing dog mess to anybody who supports West Ham. <laughs> so you know we've had a massive thunderstorm today, absolutely massive, like you know it was absolutely astonishing like and like you know up leads to it it was like storm flies everywhere flies going berserk and that like oh yeah all that rubbish outside my flat like you know when we went out yesterday right about 200 there was a very a veritable swarm of big bastard wasps like, you know, and they were trying to get in to get the cat food and stuff, like, you know, and I mean, we had one very, very persistent one, it was very aggressive, like, if you went near, if you went near, it, it started chasing you, sort of thing, like, you know, and you've got to be careful, because if they mark you with their little special pheromone, then every wasp in history will come after you, like, you know, it's really quite awful, like, you know, so thanks to the neighbours who keep you know, I hope, I hope, like, you know, this gets around with the neighbours, like, you know, thanks for piling your rubbish and your dirty filth and used nappies and all the rest of it up against the side of my flat. Right, me and my upstairs neighbour, right, you know, we have got nothing and we don't put anything in that area. Even if we're a bit full, we make room in our bins, like, right, you know, somehow. Right, like, you know, but out there, there is about 200 ripped up, stinking, disgusting rubbish bags and my flat is constantly full of flies because of it it's constantly full of smell because of it oh, you know and i'm just fed up with it and you know i'm getting to the point and where where one's doing it they're all doing it like you know and i'm i'm being really tested here because i don't like grass in anybody but i'm gonna have to if this carries on because the health alone i mean you're cooking something you, you know you get a bit of pizza out of the oven or you know and fucking flies landing on it you don't want it you know because like you know because like 20 minutes before those flies were like you know having a dance on some piece of dog shit or you know and then they land on your food i mean you know do you want to eat dog shit in your food like of course not so you know i mean it's just unacceptable. It really is unacceptable behaviour, right, you know. And uh, I, I'm just like fed up. I, I, I try to keep myself to myself and you know be nice to everybody around here and that. But I am getting angry. I'm getting angry at being woken up by the arseholes that are out their face. I'm getting angry with all the shouting and screaming and idiots and stuff. I, I, the grass bit that's mine outside the front. It's like a rubbish tip. Oh, you know, the old bin sheds area, like, you know, I mean, that every house around here puts their rubbish in there. People to pull up in cars and come through our hedge, right, you know, to put rubbish in here, you know, because they've got a bit too much for their bins or they just don't care, you know. It is fly tipping. It is a crime. You know, and I mean, up until a couple of years ago, it was a £20,000 fine and prison. I mean, they've dropped the fine down a bit, but there's still prison for doing it. And, you know, I'm just getting to the point, you know, where I'm just going to call the police. That I'm going to put a camera up and catch them. And I know I'm going to put name, I'm going to put faces to the police. So, there, this is him. Got him on video. Bosh, he's dropping light rubbish up against my house. Right, you know, and take it from there. 
it is wrong. It's rotten, like, you know, because, I mean, you know, one of them that's doing it, you know, I think it's a friend, but, I mean, you know, I, I don't put rubbish outside our door, like, you know, and I mean, like... I'm very disappointed, like, you know, because, like, you know, her son, like, right, he was going to, like, smash my daughter up, like, you know, and I'm sorry, but, like, he's a South London like me. As far as I'm concerned, you don't do that. You don't threaten women. You don't knock women around. So I'm very, very sorry, like, you know, like, you know, I think that me and her are probably going to end up having words over this because, like, you know, I'm not having my daughter threatened by any bloke, you know, and he's lucky. He's very, very lucky. Because if Shana had so chosen to, she could have taken it up with her mother, whose family who are very, very, are very much heavy sort of people. Or you know, they would have turned up here and they would have like taken him for a conversation about just why he thinks it is acceptable to like you know threaten to smash up like you know women in the family. Right, and um, so, you know. I, I, I won't name the name, you know, the friend, like, you know, but like, she's got to understand. I mean, she moved from the area where all these people come from. Like, you know, I mean, these are not your sort of people you take going to meet your mum sort of thing. You know, these are nasty, horrible people that like hitting people, like hurting people, who rob you blind, and, you know, they don't care if they get 20 years inside because that's that sort of people, you know. You know. So maybe our oh, neutral neighbour, like, you know, might pick up on this that she really doesn't want to end up in that particular, you know, but if my, if my daughter gets threatened like that again, you know, that's what will happen to her boy, you know. And nobody, nobody threatens my daughter, you know, and I won't even have to get my hands dirty because I know that her mother will do the business, not me. Right, you know, and I can tell you this, like, you know, when those when those pack come, come when the pack comes after people, like, you know, they are terrible. They're terrifying. You know, you know, I mean, like Sean's great uncle, like, you know, was in the Queen's firm. Like, Wally Angle, you can check this up, like, you know. He was part of the procession, both the twins when they died, like, you know. I mean, you know, Wally Angle, like, you know, he, he done about 30 years in Stoic, like, you know, for the crimes he did. Like, he was a gentleman villain, like, you know, he didn't go around not with kids around or women around or anything like that. No, I mean, you know, tall, thin bloke, like, you know, hard of bloody nerd, all right? You know, him and his 12 siblings living two doors down from Lenny McLean in Hoxton. Right, you know, we talk about, you know, out the film, not stop and all that. Barry the Baptist, all right, you know. My, aunt, I, my hands are big, but Lenny's are but still quite a bit bigger than mine. Right, you know. And ask me how I know, like, right, you know, because, like, I mean, it, it was funny when it was at the Camden Palace on a Wednesday night, and he was up there and he would touch the and everything. I thought he was there doing bouncing, but he was doing something else, putting a bit of business, a bit of something, or this and the other. And his big hand comes down on my shoulder, like, you know, and it spins me round on the floor as if I weren't existing. I mean, Lenny's a big bloke, he's a bit taller than me, but he's a lot more older. Uh, uh, and he's going, hello Ian, how's your own? I'm like, hello. I've got a long way, you know. I mean, I'm tough from my, like, you know, but I know that for a fact that, you know, he knew how to hurt people, like, you know, he was a professional prize fighter, a bare knuckle prize fighter. You know, I've had a couple of goes at that myself, but like, you know, to settle differences and stuff. But I mean, this bloke, you know, he paid money, like, you know. And that's like, you know, what the whole thing about Snatch was all about, like, you know. Unfortunately, Lenny had gone, like, by the time Snatch was made, because, like, Guy Ritchie really wanted him on board, uh, you know. Right, this is getting on too long and all the rest of it, and all you know, take three days to upload it. So, you know, so neighbor, if you do end up watching this, please watch, like, you know, please stop putting your rubbish up against my bloody um, mine and my daughter's bedroom wall, like, uh, exterior wall, you know. This flat is absolutely inundated with smell, flies, and it's disgraceful. So, you know, we wouldn't do this in South London, we don't do it here, as far as I'm concerned. So, you know, if you've got a problem, get a new bin from the council or something, but stop making it my problem, because I'm fed up with it. Alright? Anyway, rant over, bollocks over, right, you know. Last quick look at the Gleamer. 
if that in a year's time is as good as that, or you know, like, I, I, would, I would hold that as a, as a bit of a bargain, or, you know. Uh, I mean, you know, it's a what's it, a 45, 50 year old what watch movement, yeah, yeah, do the job. If we don't want to wear a shirt and you know, want to be, oh, it's just that dial, like, you know, it just absolutely like catch, you know, it's like being mugged in a meadow, or like you know, being beaten up, like, beaten around the head by a puppy with a baseball bat, you know, it, it's just so innocuous and it just catches you out. Um, and it also being green is I'm not a bloody West Ham supporter, you know, I couldn't do it. I, I mean, I love Burgundy, I really do, but like you know. There are things that I don't like Burgundy on, and I tell you what, like Claret and Blue, like, you know, um, we used to sing that, you know, we ate the in Claret and Blue, like, you know, and they used to sing about we are the in Claret and Blue, so, you know, um, that, that and then would be like, you know, like the Frisbees with the razor blades, and it's like packing those plastic darts you got from the sports shop, like, you know, blah, 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 and I, and everything, you know, um, you put your arm up against a frisbee spinning with a bloody razor blade, but most people reach up instantly catch it. And it's like Millwall brick at a ready, oh, you know, and be under the stamp. Oh, you know. I mean, we gave more kickings than we ever received, like, you know. I mean, there was a lot, of, there was a lot, there was some, you know, I mean, we didn't go there to kill nobody or anything like that, like, you know. We went there for a bloody good strap, it was our turf, their turf, whatever, like, you know. And it was just like, oh, war, right. Um, it got a bit silly, I mean, like, you know, there was, like, you know, a couple of stabbings and, um, like, there was, and the West Ham bloke got on, um, got chucked off a train, died at uh, New Cross Gate or something, like, you know, I mean, he, they literally opened the door from there uh, onto the railway, like, and, um, then there was a couple more, and then there was that oh, disgraceful thing that went on, um, where, like, a bloke, he wasn't a player, like, Millwall supporter, but it was over, there was over East London, and, um, they got, they just saw him with a scarf, he had, a, like, a kiddie with him or something, like, you know, and they went up to it, and, like, 11 geezers went up and surrounded him, and they stabbed him up, like, you know, and then when, like, um, what's it, a load of, the, like, Millwall fans saw that happening, they went, so these 11 went ahead behind the old bill, like, you know, like, you know, real brave geezers, they can stab a geezer up 11 at one, but they can't bloody face it down when they get called out on it, so, I mean, that was a really big riot, that was, like, you know, because we were not impressed at all with any of that, like, and because the, the police seemed, we saw it as the police were protecting the, the people who'd done it, like, you know, like, we gave them fucking hell, like, you know, um, but that's all, that's, that's all it was like, you know. I mean, when they started putting noise in and guns in and, you know, you know and started wearing their stupid suits and stuff like that, like, you know, it, was, it, it no longer spoke to us, like, you know. It was it, it became, you know, something else. It just got taken over. I mean, it used to be flight jacket, like, polo shirt, tight jeans, pair of DMs, like, you know, like, a set of braces, like, you know, and a belt, like, because a belt, you know, a standard leather belt is a uh, pretty handy tool. Cut the carrier bag so you can put stuff in, or you know, smack something around the face with it. Uh, your sun newspaper scrunched up into a really thin roll, fold it over, like and you could, what's it? You could punch a hole through, like you know, in like a car door. You could actually put a car window through with it. You know, because it's iron hard. Right, that's what a normal brick was all about, like, you know. And then you're like inside your like flighty like you know, you had your darts, your two peas with their end edges filed into a razor point, like you know, which we've done a metal work skull. Right, you know, um brass knuckles, right? <laughs> all sorts of things that we used to have, right, you know. If you wore a donkey jacket, people wore donkey jackets because underneath the lapel like that, where people used to grab hold of you like, like that, right? Like, they used to have the, what's it, they used to have stitched in, they used to have razor blades. Right? And it was quite funny, I actually saw that as that, like this big West End support, I got this, like, it was about the same size as me, like, sort of five foot seven, five foot eight, sort of stripped sort of gaze, like, you know? 
and he cried out when I just don't get you any please I am his fingers like was sliced off like you know and he did half hour he did oh, <laughs> that's what it was all about like, you know so I mean you know you get the old Bill be on your side, smacking you in your head with like their truncheons, like running their horses, like you know. I'll tell you something, like you get like a running horse at you and get an horse's hoof in, in your belly or something like that, you know, you are not moving for bloody days. And I mean you can have big bruises all over you from the horses, like, you know. And the horses used to bite you and the dogs, like, you know, the dogs are not supposed to dogs dogs are supposed to like, you know, worry your arm and take you down, like, you know, these you know the, the Met had attack dogs as well, like you know that when they were that or, or they would like walk them in with a lead and that and these things like you know really biting you. Uh, you know, they had all that. <laughs> but that's what it was, like in nineteen seventies, nineteen eighties Britain, like you know, we didn't have our wars, like, you know, we had no did to fight, no did to defend against them, you know, so we just did, and the enmity between West Ham and Millwall has been around since the 1900s. And, you know, in fact, the first ever player killed at a football match was a West Ham player. And, you know, between West Ham and Millwall, and the first football riot was at the West Ham Millwall, and that's why policemen are at every football st football um, ground now. It's because of West Ham and Millwall. So, so it was fun to be part of it. Like I'm too old for that sort of thing. Anyway. I love you and leave ya. Toodle Pipsky. I don't know if you noticed like the new blinds are put out of in there, like you know. Because the cats thought, oh yeah, let's ride a blind then. <laughs> like it. Um so Toodle Pipsky, look after yourself, stay safe. Keep out of people's armpits and you know, be lucky.